Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Clash Royale. So, this is episode number 99. Which means the next episode will be 100. The episode where I do the hour-long episode. So I hope everyone's ready for that. It's not going to be tomorrow. It's either going to be on Sunday. Uh, this, uh, this coming up Sunday or this coming up um, Friday. And I will make sure to make a video before um, giving forewarning that in so much time uh, I'm going to be starting it. And I'll make sure to keep you guys posted on the tournament so that everyone can get in. So uh, I'd say probably expect it on Friday more than Sunday. So yeah. But getting into this episode, um, we got some chests to open. Also, I saw in the comments that more people actually enjoy watching my lower level account than my higher level account. I don't know if it's because I just, you know, can't win on my high level account. People like watching me win. I don't know. But that's what we're gonna do in here. And we have this clan crown chest, 7 out of 10. We gotta start putting stuff towards it. Let's request for our mega minions. And we have this classic challenge for after we win one match. Which, I mean, is fine if we just win it. Look at that, we're at 10,000 gold exactly. So let's go ahead and go into our match. 2,372 trophies. Maybe sometime soon we can get to 2,600 and we can be in the new arena. But we're going to get to level 10, so I don't think we're going to win this one. Good luck and drop our tombstone. Thanks for the good luck. Aw, oh, dang. Alright, drop something else. I want to make sure this is the most worth lightning I can get. Alright, so you're not making it very worth at all. Um, It's going fine so far. We can drop our golem in the back. Oh, he's got his minion horde, though. Uh, arrows. Don't want him to get too many hits. Now we can start saving, since we have our golem in front of our tower and everything. The only thing you can do is push the other side, because you really need to back up a golem. Aw, oh, dang. Um, gotta get as much of this out of here as we can. I do like that those Elite Barbarians chase that, so I didn't have to waste my lightning spell. So that's very nice. Oh, I actually like that a lot. Oh, he's going for the other side now. Let's go for our lightning spell. And our Musketeer, ah, oh, he got the shot, well played. Oh, he has an Inferno Dragon. Not good at all. Well, dang. I don't know how else to stop this tombstone, or this um, skeleton army without a tombstone. Because I needed to make sure I could save that tower. Ah, uh, well played. There people go again using, um... The card that takes 100% skill, the best card in the game. Um, wow, he has a mirror? Oh my gosh. It's times like these um, zaps come in handy, but I just know that my golem will get him. Sorry, he's level 10, I wasn't expecting to win anyways. As much as I would like to win, this guy probably dropped before the season even started, and now he's pushing back up just so his clan can get the clan crown chest to level 10. But that's how some people play, they have to do that, and I can't be mad about that. Because I have just as much um, capability of doing that just like he does. Good game. Yep, you're welcome, bud. No problem. 
But I think there should be some sort of barrier on a level being able to do that. But I don't know how they could do that, because someone level 10 could honestly just be really bad and be down here. Alright, so let's drop our golem. We're gonna start off strong. Because this guy's level 9. Alright, so we'll throw our arrows right away. And he'll get a few hits. Two, three. Yeah, three hits. I guess I'm gonna have to drop my mega minion, huh? Um, I'm also lagging pretty bad. So he got a uh, good start on our tower. But I might return a lot of that damage right now. Because he was very aggressive, and I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. But if he doesn't stop that Inferno Dragon right now, oh. Well, I'm going to say that's probably a three crown. Is he even going to get one crown? No, that's a three crown. I'm not even going to say anything, because I'm confused as to what just happened. But we just got 29 trophies. And three crown win. So, okay. Well, now we can go ahead and go into a tournament. I am level 8, so I'm going to probably play more level 9 than I am level 8. It's... Good luck. Seems like he might think this is easy because I am level 8. I'm not sure what it's going to be. It could be easy. Um... I don't know, it's looking pretty easy for him as of right now. Well played. Do you want a cookie? Um, okay. That was well done, I guess. I don't have something I'm willing to throw right then. I wish I had my arrows in the beginning. Because that would have helped so much. Oh, that dark goblin got it. Okay, this guy is really annoying. At least he's not being toxic. He's just spamming. But some people might say that's a form of being toxic. I don't think so. It's just annoying. Okay, so I guess we can build up our push. It would be a lot better if I knew what was going down because of this lag. It's really hard to tell. And that mini P.E.K.K.A. just probably made enough back for probably three of it. But yeah, this lag, it is bad. It is bad. Good thing I've had this um, challenge up for like weeks, because so it's not really costing me anything. And I haven't found anything worth lightning, worth lightning ing 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 ing, worth using my lightning on. There we go. I haven't found anything worth using my lightning on. How would you make lightning plural? Well, lightnings. I don't know. Um, this is definitely a hard match. He's definitely giving it all he's got. With my lag. God dang, I hate going back to that lag. Well, he got my Inferno Dragon. But there's just so much I can't do. Uh, arrow. Wow. So I got his tower. And now what's gonna happen? Is he gonna make the same mistake and am I gonna get it? Nope, he's definitely gonna get my tower before I get his. He was definitely just playing around the first time. I 
I gotta lightning all of this. Wow, wait a minute. What's going on? What is going on? What is going on here? Did I just do that? Oh no, I wanted to spam him so bad. What just happened? That is... Gotta be one of the craziest comebacks I've ever had. One second. I... I pretty sure there was one second left on that. Let's just go ahead and fast forward, maybe like times four till the end. Um, so yeah, that, that first push he got, oh, it was just really bad on my part. And he got the tower on his third push, I guess you could say, and that's about a minute in. I dropped my golem, it's just getting stopped and stopped. That's when that mini P.E.K.K.A. got so much worth elixir damage. Now he's just trying to push for that three crown. He's getting greedy. I start my push. Okay. There's 30 seconds left on that clock. So if we go to times two now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. With two seconds left on that clock. We got it. And now he's pushing, and I didn't have the best counter at all, but I managed. So it's all working out. I think my mini P.E.K.K.A. or my, uh, yeah, my Mega Minion going all the way around definitely helped me. And my Inferno Dragon just getting onto that tower was definitely what got it for me. Well, that's gonna really wrap off this um, video, guys. If you did enjoy this episode of Clash Royale, make sure to leave a like. Any amount of likes will work, because asking, I get the exact opposite. Um, also, remember, I'll make sure to keep uh, posting video. Uh, I'm going to be posting videos on my uh, main account the remainder of this week, so forgive me if you don't like those that much. It's just what I'm going to do. And I'll let you guys know when that tournament's coming up, so um, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.